What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here. I'm Oceanbound and we're going to Point Judith today. Stoked! We've got this hurricane ripping through. It's a fast moving hurricane moving up the coast. The eye is gonna be going right over Point Judith in the next couple hours. It's gonna be a crapshoot though, like, I think the waves will be pretty decent, but when that eye goes through, it may totally shut our wind off. Like, we may be going from like, in the 30s to like five for a little bit. And that could be dangerous, depending on where I am and how fast that is. So it's something definitely to look forward to, but maybe some footage of the eye will be really cool. I don't know, we'll cross our fingers for that. Let me just say, I'm purposely setting low expectations for today, because talking about the eye of a hurricane like it, it really could go either way so really anything could happen today I'm not really sure I know Eric's on his way down but I think he's like an hour behind me it's Eric me Dylan we'll see what other crazy Rhode Island locals are out and I think that's kind of it from the wing crew I'm not sure how many kiters would actually be kiting in this because it's pretty volatile what am I gonna be on I think I'm gonna do either the 1250 or the 1125 today Maybe the 11.25 with a V-stab would be kind of cool. Definitely 72 centimeter mass, just because I don't have to worry about getting out and that's gonna be better for riding bigger waves and not breaching and all of that in general. If I'm gonna be totally lit, you know, the 11.25 sounds like a really fun thing to try. I, I don't even know if you guys can hear because of this raid. I'm going through like a crazy band. And then wing-wise, I've got a, I brought all my wings with me, but if it's averaging 30s, 4.2 if it's averaging like closer to 40 or above 40 i'm definitely going to do the 2.8 so we'll see how that goes i am just stoked to not be at work today and like i said i'm set the expectations are set low so i should just like i don't know man like anything that happens i'm kind of just happy with that so all right let's see what the beach looks like It's windy. Oh, I'm psyched, man. That's good. Awesome. So yeah, just rolled the camera. I'm Cronin. Dylan's here. It's windy and the waves look good. So this should be cool. The, the waves look good on the outside. I'm not sure what the inside will be yet.
I'm staying in here. Elsa. All right, so what happened was it's going really good from the east. I would say around 30, mid, no, maybe mid 20s, and then gusting into 30s. Um, I came in to get a faster foil. The waves we didn't think were going to be as fast as they are, but they're pretty fast. So I got a fast foil. When I went back out, that's kind of when it started to go down. It's gone down, switched to south. Those waves are getting big. Um, my go, both of my GoPros stopped working. And like this one, it's got 69% battery. The other one was, uh, you know, 57% battery. It's like a Bermuda Triangle thing. They just stopped working. I hate that. But um, there were some waves that I wish I got on, on footage of. They were so big. And to me, so big is like, I think that they were close to double overhead territory. But we're talking like 10 foot games, at least, no joke. And like five in a row. And when you're, I was standing in the trough, I wasn't up on foil, standing in the trough. And I'm like just looking up at the wave at like a 45 degree angle. So that was rad. Anyway, yeah, gonna eat some, eat some food, drink some water, pump a five, go back out. Here we go. Game on!
100% juice on this thing. Let's use it. Check this out. I have to go back out for one last fourth session. It's nice out. <laughs> about that I mean what can I say about that session it was just a marathon day you know I got to ride east wind south wind north wind west wind from you know 40 something down to like 12 earlier in the day the waves are great I would say the best waves were right in the eye unfortunately so we couldn't really ride that many of them or we just didn't have enough power and then like as the day as it started to ramp up from the other direction it just got really choppy with this like side kind of like wind swell that was coming in with this other swell so i was on the 1251st wasn't fast enough switched to the 1125 and that was awesome the thing that was cool is once i got to the 11 25 you get on some of these waves and let's say these waves are like i don't know six seven eight feet but they're they don't have a lot of like like steep vert to them so you can really only catch them with the foil and then once you're on that 11 25 you just kind of crest over and it just like before i had to like gain speed so i could go down and then like accelerate on the wave like i kind of could just crest over on a wave with the 11 25 and like butter it would just slide right down i don't know i just had a really good session this is three great wave sessions in a row and i couldn't be happier so anyway super stoked thanks again rhode island really appreciate what you got going on down there thanks everybody i hope you're enjoying what i'm throwing down please if you want to see some more of my videos consider clicking that subscribe button drop me a comment love talking to you guys it's been really awesome getting to know you all so far and with that i hope you're all doing well out there i'll see you on the flip now wish you all an amazingly awesome day later